dancing, I don't feel like dancing. Hold my heart for ransom. What's a man to do? We saw an opportunity to validate uh, rock and roll. Fifty years later, we're talking about it. It was pretty good energy. You know? I, I haven't seen anything like that since. They were just amazing. Yeah. Who do you think rolls a better joint, Teacher Chong? Tommy Chong. There was a conversation between Paul McCartney, myself, John Phillips, Cass Elliott, and Michelle Phillips of the Mamas and Papas. And the discussion was why rock and roll wasn't considered an art form like folk and jazz. About six, seven weeks later, when we were approached with the possibility of the Mamas and Papas headlining a concert at uh, Monterey Fairgrounds, where the folk festival and jazz festival took place. And one thing led to another, and John and I uh, sort of took over directing the festival. And that was the idea behind it. How much were the tickets for the first one? Well, the, one of them was really expensive. That was $6. A lot of this generation thinks that Jimi Hendrix might be coming out with another album. I mean, they just think of him as an iconic artist. He's very popular with this generation, as is The Who, Janis Joplin, all of them. So they've taken the music and made it today. They just enjoy it as if it's happening. You want the Lakers to draft Lonzo Ball? I think they almost have to. I mean, it's not as if you're getting a second-rate player. A point guard that pass first is what they need because they've got quite a bit of shooters. I think the other guys they're looking at are all athletically great and better than uh, Ball in that sense. But they're shoot first, pass second. Ethan, dude, is that stressful? No. You did a good job. Didn't think it was gonna fit. <laughs>